We need to find the center of mass of this one-dimensional object, given that this one-dimensional object has this density and lives on the interval from x equals 1 to x equals 4. The center of mass formula is down here, but you'll notice that it requires that we first find the mass. The mass of the object can be found using this integral, and to find this integral, we just have to plug the density in and integrate, in this case, between x equals 1 and x equals 4. Let's see what that integral looks like. Okay, we plugged all of our values in. To actually do the integration, it's going to make sense to rewrite this square root of x as x to the 1 half power. Then we can use the power rule to integrate. That means adding 1 to the power of 1 half to give us x to the 3 halves. And then dividing by that 3 halves is the same as multiplying by 2 thirds. We can plug in the upper and lower limits of integration, and that'll give us the mass. We can do a bit of simplification so that we can get ourselves a number for the mass. A 3 halves power means that we can take a square root and then cube. So 4 to the 3 halves power is going to be 2 cubed, which is 8. 1 to the 3 halves power is 1. 8 minus 1 is 7. Multiply that by 2 thirds, and we get that our mass is 14 thirds. Now, those units might be kilograms. Now, let's copy down the formula for the center of mass, and we can steal all of the information from the first half of the problem, plug it all into this integral, and let's see what we get. 1 over 14 thirds is 13 fourths. Again, the square root of x is x to the 1 half power. Multiplying x to the 1 half power times x to the first power gives us x to the 3 halves power. To integrate, we add 1 to that power, and we divide by that power, doing a little bit of simplification with the fractions out in front, and plugging in our limits of integration should give us the answer. 4 to the 5 halves power is going to be the square root of 4, which is 2, to the 5th power, which is 32. 1 to the 5 halves power is just 1, and I don't see much reduction happening happening with this fraction, I think our answer is just going to be 92 over 35. Plugging that into a calculator is going to give you some decimal between 2 and 3, and a little bit of a sanity check on that tells us that that's probably about in the right territory. At least that center of mass does fall on the interval from 1 to 4. So I think that we did this problem correctly, and I think that we're ready to move on to the next one.